another video and we are talking makeup today and I know I'm just get it right on out there I know you guys well I've gotten comments saying that you guys like my makeup and all um, some friends have said I should try to do um, tutorials on here but I don't know if I'm there yet quite yet maybe this new decade would just will spring forth some courage for me to do that but yeah I'm not a makeup artist I can only do it myself I tried um doing my friends makeup before and it's just it, it wasn't a fail it wasn't horrible but you I can't put no booking info and yeah I don't know maybe one day I could probably do my makeup on camera one day I, one day I'll do like maybe I'll actually do a get ready with me or something but anyway we're talking makeup today and these are for my beginners, um, people who want to get into makeup but don't want to break the bank. I've been into makeup for years and I still don't want to break, a ba break the bank. Who wants to break the bank? Um, yeah, so I'm going to basically share you the products that I have, that I still use, that um, most of the products I've been using these brands for a long time, even when I first started uh, my makeup life which was freshman year in college uh, I was 18 believe it or not I am a whole 27 turning 28 this year so that's almost 10 years well that is 10 years because I started um, college at 17 since I have a late birthday so yeah I've been doing this <laughs> I can't be I don't look good right thanks <laughs> so when I'm 40 I'm gonna look 20 okay but yeah um <laughs> so yeah, let's just get it right to it since they're probably the most obvious thing on my face right now we'll start there i love lashes okay ever since i finally figured out how to put them on with ease and i got it down pack it's a wrap i feel naked without them i love the super dramatic i love the natural glam um i will leave the links below to the lashes um, that I use and this is from hey lash babe I think I've probably mentioned um, them before definitely on Instagram um, there's also rebel access and for even cheaper you can go to Walgreens CVS any type of drugstore and get Ardell lashes those are what I really started with the most um, those were like my practice lashes yeah I, I used to live for Ardell lashes and there's also another Target brand. Um, I forgot what it's called, but um, I'll put it below when I remember. So those are cute, affordable lashes. You could go from supernatural to natural glam to super dramatic. Whatever you want, they got it. So yeah, I definitely love these. I actually have an order coming in from um hey lash babe in a couple of days i'm excited to get some new lashes so yeah that's been my thing and i don't know who started this but y'all got me and i can't turn back and now oh i forgot my eyebrow pencil but i use l'oreal's um i forgot what the exact name is but L'Oreal's brow pencil is basically similar to Anastasia's Anastasia Beverly Hills brow is. It's literally the exact exact thing. It's a dupe for it. Um, it's a little cheaper, but yeah, I love both. And yeah, though that's that's what I use for my brows. And since we're on the topic of brows, when to conceal them from day one la pro girl has been that bit okay you already know how this looks like everyone uses it like this is i don't think this is ever going to go away there's something about the formula the consistency it literally goes with every single foundation that i've tried it's just it's just it and it it conceals well um yeah i love using it for my eyebrows to highlight to conceal all that good stuff so LA Pro Girl and along with that I use their orange one to color correct these are under five dollars you can find them at any beauty supply and when I am on samsbeauty.com 
shopping for more wigs and I'm running low I just go ahead and pop these in my cart and get a good two three four of them at a time because they're that cheap and you know they're they last forever um, foundations I this is my holy grail I talk about this all the time I literally use nothing but L'Oreal Pro Matte this is what I use and it's like $13 Walgreens, Target, again, all the drugstores. I wear number 111. It is a matte finish. It supposedly lasts for 24 hours. I've definitely worn this from early morning to super late night into the next morning before, and it has never failed me. Um, they do have a good color range. I will say drugstore have been stepping it up with the range of skin tone that they offer for their foundations. Um, I think L'Oreal Infallible could do a little bit better, but it's definitely, like, there'll definitely be something for you, I believe. And if you don't want, if you don't find nothing in L'Oreal Pro Matte, you can try Juvia's Place. I don't even gotta tell you anything about it. This is how it looks like, you know, orange box. This is the tube matte finish as well this is super matte so you have to really make sure that you are mo moisturized before you um apply this but yeah you guys see it all over instagram the finish is beautiful it covers everything you don't even need much it's it's, it's great um so for me to finish up everything i use maybelline fit me powder Again, all I've been using, I've been using this for years back when um, I first started getting into makeup. I also used their Fit Me foundation, but I grew out of that. For some reason, it just started to oxidize on me. And I, again, love matte finish, and I just felt like the matte um, wasn't matte for me anymore. But again, everyone's skin is different. I have. Um, a few friends that use Maybelline Fit Me and love it. Again, super affordable, definitely under $15. They have a dewy collection and a matte collection. Again, that is Maybelline Fit Me and this is matte poreless. It's for normal to dry skin and I am in the color 360. So, I probably should have started with this before I got into the foundations, but of course it's important to prime your face. This um, is from Sephora, so we all know Sephora might not have the cheapest stuff, but if you get stuff in the smaller sizes and travel sizes, they last super long and they're half the price. So I use the Smashbox, yeah, whatever, you know how it looks like. <laughs> I use the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur, it's like a clear, gel not sticky not tacky very light um cream but it doesn't it's clear doesn't leave no, no marks on your face um super great foundation yeah i get no flashback with any of the products that i'm mentioning i get no flashback so this i think the travel size is like what 13 dollars or something like that again it lasts me months this is holy grail classic foundation I mean not foundation um mascara like every every girl has had this mascara the pink and green tube everyone knows what that is that's also Maybelline this is the waterproof I always get the waterproof one this is for when I do my bottom eyelashes I usually use that for um, in the summertime I will put them on my upper lashes just because every time I yawn, I tear up, and yeah, we don't want that happening during the summertime, and I look crazy. So, yeah, this is what, I think, also under $15. What else? Blush. I have been, I've mostly used e.l.f. This is, they come in these little square thingies. Um, yeah, they have definitely a, a ton of colors and elf has been yeah elf has definitely stepped it up over the years they have a great line of of makeup of uh, brushes they have everything that you can need to complete a face uh, but yeah i love their blushes so on to highlights 
clearly this has been used a lot. This is my favorite. Look, literally dead pan, dead pan, like to the pan. But yeah, I love um, using BH Cosmetics highlighters. Unfortunately, this particular palette is um, discontinued. I wish it wasn't. Like this is literally my favorite. I like. I literally only use this. Um, but yeah, called Wild and Radiant BH Cosmetics. Also a great line. Um, I. By, most of my brushes are from BH Cosmetics. Um, all I use are their brushes and um, Real Technique sponges, which again are under, they're under, the sponges are under $10. Um, speaking of brushes, I can't wait to try this. Hey girl, hey. She is royalty here on YouTube and on Instagram. Adasa, I bought her makeup brushes during um, Black Friday. I think it was Black Friday, it was before then, but yeah. Beautiful brushes, I have not used them yet. I'm like waiting for the time where I'm not in a rush, where I can really like take my time, use these brushes, cause they feel, even though they're like pre-sealed, actually I did open them already, just so I can um, see how they feel. They are super, super, super soft. And I've seen her um, use these brushes and her face of course always comes out flawless and we all make sure you guys check her out that is she is royalty here on youtube and on instagram so let's talk eyes so eyeshadows um just brought one of the palettes one of the many palettes i have from this brand again juvia's place this is the queen palette their palettes are so so awesome and they their pigments oh their colors are so beautiful their pigments show up on every single skin tone this is just an example of one of their palettes they always have a good sale you'll definitely get palettes under twenty dollars they have um you can buy bundles they yeah like i said um they always have great sales so you're I have my cousin hey annie <laughs> Literally has every single palette from them except for the very, very new one that they just launched. I'm pretty sure she'll be getting that too. So yeah, it's definitely, definitely it. Um, so lip liner. I kid you not, I buy all of my lip liners at the Beauty Supply and they are a dollar, okay? I only spend a dollar on um, my lip pencils. And I love the ones that roll up like this, very easy to use we don't have to sharpen them like in the old days um but yeah every beauty supply store you can find that anywhere locally um what else um i currently use sasha buttercup to set my highlight um i think this costs including shipping or whatever a little bit over 20 dollars but for the fact that they last so long that's that's really nothing but yeah sasha buttercup and i have the color i don't even know what the color i have but it is flash again flash friendly no gives you no flashback again all my products that i use do not give you flashbacks so you'll be all set when you want to take pictures for snapchat and stuff um on to setting spray, I use Urban Decay All Nighter. This is the travel size. Again, lasts me forever. I actually mostly use Ben Nye Final Seal. That's what keeps my face locked in all day. Or when I'm at parties, people be thinking like, I'm not sweating. No, I, I sweat a little bit. This spray is just that good. And believe me, I, when, I'm, when, I, when I start dancing, I dance okay and <laughs> yeah it don't be looking like I'm sweating but it's because of that spray but um Ben Nye final soul is a little bit up there so that's why I only mentioned um Urban Decay and this lasts long but yeah if you want to go check that out too definitely get that because it'll definitely be worth your money and that's all I have today those are my products um those are brands i think you should definitely look into that you should try when you're first building your makeup collection when you're first getting into makeup when you're building 
your kit. Um, they have a variety of colors, variety of shades, and your looks will be endless. So thank you for watching. Like if you enjoyed this. Comment if you've tried any one of these products, if you have a favorite, or if you have any other affordable makeup items that you'd like to share with me and everyone else so we can be flexing on a budget. Please do that. I will see you guys in the next one.